So uh, we're here up on Mount Higby, uh, just off the Matabasset Trail. This is not very far from the Leatherman Cave, which was the main reason we actually came up here today. But this is the uh, debris site of a, an aircraft crash in 1954, which was a twin-engine Beechcraft, which in bad weather and poor visibility crashed into the side of the mountain here. And you can see all of the uh, aluminium debris just scattered across the mountain here, which is really... I don't know, it's really sad actually. As a pilot myself, it's kind of difficult to come here and not feel a little bit sad about it. But um, it's amazing how much of it's still here, kind of 70 years on really. Um, and sadly, this is not the last time an aircraft's hit here. The history books show that another aircraft hit here in 1966 and another Cessna crashed into here in the 1990s. So it's clearly claimed the lives of a few pilots, this mountain. But I guess what's just stunning really is just how much of it is still kind of here and then the the other thing that we've noticed looking around is these kind of bubbly blocks of heavy uh, aluminium and, and it's a sign of just how hot the fire was that it's kind of melted the aluminium into these giant blocks um, you can kind of see a blob of it on the corner of this bit here it's kind of almost looks like it's encrusted but it's basically melted on um, but yeah so it's not 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 far from the Leatherman Cave on Higby, and uh, we've actually found somebody's built a kind of temporary shelter up here too, which is kind of really cool. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be cool for you to see what it looks like. Uh, it's actually not that far off the um, off the peak of Mount Higby, and um, I'll put a link in the description of the video um, with some more information on my website.